Hi everyone, Cindy here. I am coming to share with you um, a project I did. Um, I got the inspiration from Vicki. She is TryHeart67. Hi Vicki, thank you so much um, for all the inspiration. Um, she had done some puffy heart um, pillows or I guess, I don't know if it was really a pillow, but some puffy hearts um, that she shared over on her YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen them, go check it out. Um, they were so pretty and um, it inspired me to do what I did. I have bought some lavender um, a little while ago. Um, it's just some organic lavender and I love the smell of this. So I've been wanting to do some sachets with this lavender and I just haven't. So when I saw Vicki um, Vicky's Puffy Hearts I thought oh that would be perfect. So um, I want to share it with you. Also this is uh, my design team project for My Fairy Treasures. So um, my Fairy Treasures on Etsy. Let's see there. Um, she has um, it's Angie's store and she sells um, metal pieces and um, some wonderful pieces. These are some of the pieces that I've gotten. Um, some feathers. Um, some cr a cross here. This one I just got, which is so cute. Some gears. And then this one is really cute, too. So, alright. Let me show you what I made. I'm going to turn you down here. So, this is my take on Vicky's shabby heart. Okay. And um, this is, it, it's not a heart. Um, I made this from, let's see if I can show you here. Pull it up so you can get a kind of a better look at it. Um, I used, I also got, got enabled by um, Vicki. She had shown a video of her haul from Sizzix. And I usually always miss out on that sale, so I ran over there and I purchased myself some dyes from there. So um, this is the dye that I used. Um, it's just a, you know, it's got the three holes and then it's just kind of rounded on the bottom. I don't know if you can see. There you kind of can. So that's what I did. I just cut it out of some fabric that I had. It was actually a a, a shirt that I had gotten at the thrift store. Um, this is the pink fabric under here. You can kind of see the shape more. Um, <clears throat> so I just cut it out with the dye and um, and then I uh, sewed it together with my sewing machine and then I put some lavender in it and then sewed it closed on the top and then this is another piece some, um, I guess, fabric. I don't know. It, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. So I put that over the top and then I hand sewed that on. Um, excuse me, I keep hitting the camera, sorry. Um, so you can see, and then I just hand sewed it on with some embroidery. I used embroidery. Um, thread with that when I hand sewed it. And and then I just started embellishing. This is a piece from Angie's store and it comes more of a bronzy color and so I just gessoed it and then I took my um, distress, uh, the vintage photo, Tim Holtz distress and kind of grunged it up a little and then added these little um, crystals I had. And this is um, just a little heart that I made. It's from um, those clover 
um, things that you can buy. It's one of these right here. So that's one of the hearts that I made. And then this is a just an earring that I've gotten through my estate sales. It was a doily. Uh, this might be a paper bag doily. And then this is a stamp from Michaels. Should have had all this stuff ready. Um, it's a stamp from the dollar stamps. And I just took um, some embossing, my emboss, um, embossing pad, you know, the, it's not stays on, it's the Versamark, Versamark. Uh, and stamped it on here. And then I used some of the Zing. This is what I used. Zing embossing powder. And I just embossed it on there. So I think it came out really, really cute. And I just used some linen that I had. Some scraps, fabric that I had. And then I backed it on... There's, a, there's some... Um, I would gotten these at Hobby Lobby. They were clearancing them out, and they look like this. They call them tags, I guess. And they're sewn together, a couple of them. So I just um, actually used this as a template, cut it out, and then I just glued it on there. Just to give it a little bit more stability. So there's that. And then this is another piece from um, My Fairy Treasures. And this is a piece from Tammy. Hi Tammy, if you watch this, thank you so much for this. She sent me this in a rack, and I love it. It goes so well. And then these are some um, beads that I made. I didn't make the bead, but I made the dangles. Um, and I got this idea from Sabrina over at Sabrina Ann, I believe is her YouTube channel name. She's making the, all those bottle cap charms, and they are so cute. Um, so I wanted to dangle something kind of from that, with that idea, um, but I used this. and So that was my first try at that, and I think it came out really cute. So, And this is just a, in a necklace finding thing, and I can take that off, and if I wanted to change the bottom out or whatever, or just leave it. Um, that's really all I had, <laughs> so that's what I used. And I just sewed it on, um, on the back, so. And then, these are just some seam binding, some of the pearl trim, and some vintage trim that I've gotten. So, and it smells so wonderful. I love that smell of lavender. So I think it came out really, really cute. Kind of hard to get a good look at it, but um, when it hangs, it looks so pretty. So, lots and lots of fun. And I'm going to either hang this in my craft room or I'm going to hang it by my bed. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. So, um, so there you go. Um, and then. I just I haven't really done much more, but I did make a few flowers, um, and these were um, well. This was inspired by Laura and um, Elise, I think both. Um, Laura had gotten this die, and this is one of my new ones too, which I love. And um, I just cut it out, and this is an old, actually, um, this is pretty funny, this is a old, um, actually I don't think it's old, this is some, um, it's a washcloth that you buy, or, a, you buy it in the paint section at, at um, Home Depot, and so that's what it is, and uh, so I just cut a piece out, actually two pieces, and I sewed it together. Let's see, sewed them together with some embroidery thread because I liked. I wanted to see it. I wanted it thick and chunky. And then I just stamped on there, pretty, and put on one of these little blingy things that I 
have gotten. So I think it's just so, so cute. I love it. It's simple and very cute. And um, thank you, Elise and Laura, for inspiring me on that. And then just I've just been playing around some more with my um, Marion Smith tool, which I love this thing. Love it. If you like making paper flowers, I highly recommend getting that. So um, this is just a stamp that I had bought, or I'm sorry, a punch that I bought at, I think, Joann's. I just sprayed it and add some old shirt there. And then this one's a doily that I found in my estate travels. And um, this is just some scrap paper and one of my hot glue bead centers that I do. And then this one, I thought actually came out really cute. Um, this one I used this die that I got. Um, so I cut a few of those out and used my um, Marion Smith tool. And they don't really fit together, but I think it actually came out. I think it came out cute, and I add some stickles so. And that is it. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting that. Um, I just been uh, trying to clean up my room. I'm hoping maybe to do a room tour because I did finally get it mostly clean. I'm trying not to go shopping, thrift shopping. I've got to use what I have, and uh, I don't have any more room. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm kind of tired of trying to put all the stuff away. So. Um, so, hoping to do a room tour soon, but, um, alright. So, this is my design team project for My Fairy Treasures. Um, I hope you like it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And, um, thanks for stopping by and watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Go check, um, Angie's shop out. Um, I'll put the link down below. And we'll talk to you soon.